So if um, you are in my class and you saw my um, video on Class Dojo, you know that I had to move downstairs to my new office because my sister came home from Alabama. Um, so if you're wondering why my background is different, I had to move downstairs. Um, but I am thinking about giant pandas today, and you should be too. And what I want us to think about before we go and read is that in Gail Gibbons' um, books, she illustrates and writes all the words. In all of her books, she illustrates. And that means that she's not taking a photograph. She is illustrating. She's using a marker or a pen or a colored pencil or a crayon to draw all of her pictures. And this is a text feature. This text feature is called Illustrations. And as I flip through her book, I of course notice so many other text features, but I want us to think about illustrations. And I want to look at this page right here. And my question to you is, why do you think she's using illustrations instead of photographs? I'm noticing in this photo, at, I mean in this illustration at the top, it says, a bark means hello. So pandas can communicate and a bark, if they bark, it means hello. And then in this illustration it says growling or snorting means I'm frightened. Now, as a teacher who has read so many children's books, and I'm thinking about why did she choose to illustrate instead of just having someone take a photo, I know how hard it might be to find a photograph of a panda barking or a photograph of a panda who is frightened or in danger. Maybe that's why she chose to illustrate instead of just taking photographs. I also know that maybe getting a close-up, like the very specific close-up you want, might be really difficult if you're out there just trying to take a photograph. So I'm noticing this illustration is a close-up of the claws and the thumb of a panda. And this panda has a piece of bamboo in his hand, and he is just grasping it. But as an author, I might choose to draw instead of trying to find a photo um, because I can get exactly what I want. And I don't know if that's what Gail Gibbons was thinking, but that's what I'm thinking. When I look at text features um, and I'm noticing that the author is using illustrations instead of photographs, I'm thinking, well, maybe she couldn't find what she wanted in a photograph and that's why she chose to do illustrations. So as you listen to um, Giant Pandas being read, I want you to really notice all of those illustrations and notice what she is drawing um, to help you understand ideas. So illustrations help readers understand ideas and Gail Gibbons um, has drawn all of these illustrations.